Alright, good afternoon everybody. I just got my Becker magazine in the mail. I got it on uh, Amazon and it has a picture of me sitting in my car making a YouTube video. Uh, I don't know if this video is going to get quite as many views as the video that they, they took the screenshot from. But it is what it is. I saw a meme today on Facebook where it said that, you know, six, um, the six, the, or six of the Americans who won the Nobel Prize this year and six last year were immigrants. And so therefore, what is this about a wall? We, this is why we should be against the wall <coughs> because of the uh, because look at how immigrants are making our country better. Now you have to have common sense before you. I mean, people make memes and they don't even think about it. now. Of course, all of my ancestors were immigrants. You know, at some point, at least four or five generations back. Um, you know, all my grandparents were born here, and some of my great grandparents were born here. But when you go. Most of my great grandparents and some were immigrants, and, and uh, some weren't. But at least then the great great grandparents were immigrants. And obviously, I'm not against immigration, and I'm also not against immigration from any particular country. But I know a lot of people who would love to be Americans, who are clamoring to come and be part of American society. But there are certain limits and rules about immigration, just like there was when my ancestors came here. And the fact of the matter is that the wall is not to keep out immigrants. <coughs> it's to keep out illegal immigrants. I mean, that's just common sense. I, I mean, now should America be taking in people who are uh, you know, I mean, you can comment about these alleged comments that the president was accused of making about which countries we should be taking immigrants from, and there's two prongs of why an immigrant would want to come to America, and why America wants to take in immigrants. You know, one is that there's someone who has potential to excel, and they feel that the country that they're living in is not giving them the opportunities to excel, and so they're seeking to grow. And, and their growth will be, our, will be the growth of America as well because they'll become part of America. The other is someone who might die if they don't manage to get into America, the, the refugee. Whether or not there's going to be tremendous benefit to America, of course, there will be benefit to that person. Those are the two types of legal immigrants, official, both. One could be beneficial both to America and to the individual who's immigrating. The other might not be the biggest benefit to America, but it's part of America's to be a good country that welcomes people who are in trouble and to welcome refugees who may or may not add to, to America. And then there's the people we want to keep out, are the people who are going to be detrimental both to themselves and to America. Now, the fact of the matter is, we're talking now about amnesty for the illegal immigrants and so forth, <coughs> which there might be a good place to talk about that, and I'm not, uh, not necessarily against it. However, you have to understand there are limits to how much we can bring in every year. And if you're bringing in these people, you're going to stop the uh, Nobel Prize winners from coming in. You know, there is a limit. And so, if anything, if you want there to be more Nobel Prize winning immigrants who become Americans and who add to America and who win the Nobel Prize, and meaning that they're doing great things for America and for the world, and probably they're accomplishing more for the world being in America than they would have in their native countries, which is one reason why they would want to come here. 
so then you should want the wall. And I'm not saying a wall is good or bad. It's really not my business. I really don't care one way or the other. But the fact of the matter is, the wall has nothing to do with these Nobel Prize winners. And it doesn't matter what country they come from. It's not about keeping out Mexicans or Africans or anything else. It's about why are we bringing people in? If we're going to bring people in who are going to be detrimental to society, who are going to be criminals, it doesn't matter what country they come from, we shouldn't be letting them in. And, uh, you know, I was a prison chaplain in a federal prison. I had a, a contract with a federal prison as a chaplain. And I remember they spoke about... Um, There was a, uh, there were quite a few illegal immigrants in the, in the prison, and what they said was that a lot of these fellows would say, you know, they're coming from a very desperate situation, which I understand, but they come to the prison, in the prison, if you work really hard, you can make something like $300 a year. I mean, I'm sorry, $300 a month, which outside of prison is, is nothing, but in prison, it's a lot of money. And even if he keeps $100 for himself and sends 200 home in Mexico, it's also a lot of money in certain parts of Mexico. And therefore, um, you know, that's uh, some of these uh, people said that as soon as they get out of prison, they're going to just commit another federal crime just so they can go back to prison and work in the prison. This is what I heard from, from the inmates who told me what they heard from other inmates, just so they can send home $200 a month to their family in Mexico. Now, on one hand, there is an aspect of, of Rahmanis, of mercy, of compassion that we have to have on people who are in such a horrible situation, in such a desperate situation, that they feel compelled to do such a thing. And there is a place for such compassion. However, one thing we have to recognize is, well, what kind of crimes are they committing? If they're committing violent crimes that hurt other people, that's totally unacceptable. If they're... But all crimes are hurting someone. There's really no such thing as a victimless crime. It destroys society. <coughs> but, again, there has to be... We have to examine these questions. Is it worth it for America even though there is place for compassion, and perhaps that is part of the plan. Um, I mean, when I was working in the federal prison was during the Obama administration, um, so probably that was also maybe part of their plan to a certain extent, but also really, it's not that they really cared about these people, but as much as they figured that they're going to get new voters when they make them eventually citizens. But if someone was a felon, well, Obama could pardon them so they could vote also. He pardoned a lot of people and uh, so all of these questions we have to think about <clears throat> before we make decisions as to how we, could, how we approach these questions. But that being said, whatever your belief is about the wall and this and that, and, and there are you know, valid points on both sides, although it should be noted that... <laughs> President Obama and, and Senator Clinton and Senator Bernie Sanders, they all voted for the wall <laughs> back when, when it was originally signed into law by President Bush. But that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> but the issue that we have to bring out is like this. What are we accomplishing here? What is the, uh, the purpose of this and for but for sure for sure it's a totally stupid thing to say that you, that look we have so many america uh, so many immigrants won the nobel prize so we shouldn't have a wall the fact of the matter is as it stands now and so forth that is exactly why we need the wall so we can bring in the good immigrants doesn't matter what race they are doesn't matter what country they come from but the people for sure we do want to bring in these types of people if they want to come in and it's going to be better for them, better for, for America, better for everybody. Um, but for that reason, that's why we, <laughs> we should support a wall. All right. Well, thank you for watching. God bless. 
Please like, share, and subscribe, comment, and all the best. All right, but I'm not saying the wall is good or bad. I'm just saying it is what it is. All right.